tables from 2000 and on up. That's gonna allow me to have good part throttle drivability and economy. So it's important to be able to go in and set that up and that's gonna be something that you'll probably see as well. So by going into 30 from 15 to 30 and having to take out fuel part throttle, again, not necessarily a bad thing. It means we're gonna be able to drive the same vehicle speed, use less fuel because we have that overlap dialed in. It's going to produce a little bit more torque but need less fuel and the part throttle range. Let's see what's gonna happen at full throttle now and evaluate this. Let me go here, just save it real quick. I'll stop my recording so we can have a fresh recording for our log. I'm gonna hit record and then put my dyno into its run mode and let's try this real quick. Taking a look at our dynograph, we can see our blue we've gained here. From 25 to about 4,000 we picked up, everywhere else we lost. And I'd expect that on a 910. I was commenting before that high RPM we typically don't see it has it needs a lot of uh, a lot of overlap, even having a good free-flowing exhaust on it. So let's do a quick run through here and take a look and evaluate this. So as we're kind of panning through, air fuel here, 13.6. 13.0, so right about here, it looks like we might need to update some things. We're at about this range right here, 13.6. Let's grab this, let's do control J, let's just add 5% right here. Looks like that range, that little bit of a dip right here is kind of filling in into our table. Just kind of carry it through through the rest of that. And let's go here and just kind of do a little bit of blending here. We don't want to have a big step. So I'm just blending the rest into the table here. Smooth changes in our tables is what we want to see. Control D. All right, let's pan through a little bit further. 13.1, 12.7, 12.5, 12.4, We can see 11.78, 11.5. Air fuel command here is still 12.46. So it's telling me, top end of the table, I've lost power. Now we can see that on the dynograph. We know by going from 15 to 30, uh, the high RPM it lost. And in fact, if I'm kind of taking a look at my data here, up to about 4,000, it was leaner. And at 4,500, didn't do anything. We see our lambda overlay showing a 0% difference uh, between our actual and our target. And then 5,000 and above, it goes rich. If I didn't have a dyno, I would probably know that that is going to lose power and that having 30 degrees on the top of the table is gonna be something I don't wanna do. So looking at our dynograph, we can see that backed up right here. Our blue line falls down compared to our red and uh, we're losing power. So we need to go in here and uh, lean this out first things first. Let's go here and just do control J. Let's take out 5%. And let's just do control D here. And also do control D here. Just blend this in just a little bit into the table. Nothing crazy. And we can see we've kind of built that out right now. So we have dialed in our fuel. And if we take a